Hey, I'm Justin Baldwin, and today I want to talk about make a commitment, keep a commitment. You know, for me, whenever I've had a long history of saying I was going to do something and then not making sure that it happened, whether I told my parents when I was growing up that I was going to do something, I was going to make sure something as simple as I'm going to do my homework before I go to sleep or yes, I'm going to wash the dishes before I go to sleep. Or maybe, you know, now that I'm married, I told my wife that I would do something around the house. And for whatever reason, it didn't get done. I procrastinated and the day went on and then it didn't get done. You know, maybe you're a parent like me and you told your kids you were going to do something and for whatever reason, it didn't get done. And you can see when that happens, each time it does, there's a little bit of trust that is lost between that person and you. In fact, it affects the relationship a little bit as well between that person and you. Because now whenever you say something that you're going to do something, history for them tells them that it's just not going to get done. And so each time there's a little bit of trust that is lost in that relationship. I'm sure that that's happened to you. Maybe you can remember a time when someone told you that they were going to do something, they made a commitment to you and it didn't get done. And you remember how that affected not only your trust in that person, but your relationship with that person as well. Well, for me, a couple months ago, I made a strong commitment, not only to myself, but to my wife. And my commitment was on my days off, which is two a week, because on Sundays the dealership's closed, on Thursdays is my day off. On those days, I made the commitment that I was going to handle all house chores so that she could literally, if she wanted to, sit on the couch and not do anything all day. Now that sounds like a huge commitment, and it is, but I knew I made the commitment that I wanted to be a more helpful husband. And when I asked my wife how I could do that, that is what she said and she asked for. So I made the commitment to her that on my days off, I was going to do everything around the house, all of the house chores. And unfortunately, because of how my word has been with some house chores specifically around the house. She said, okay, great. And I could tell that she didn't believe it was going to happen. And that's 100% on me, 100% my fault. Well, the first Thursday rolled around. And as soon as I woke up, I hopped right on the dishes. And she woke up after me and came in and saw that the dishes were done. Not only were the dishes done, but the living room had been picked up and cleaned. And the look on her face, I can't even begin to explain how the look she gave and the gratitude that she expressed because for the first time in a long time, when I told her I was going to do something, I actually did it. And each time, each Thursday, each Sunday. Since then, I've kept that commitment. Now, yesterday was Father's Day, uh, the 19th of June. And, you know, it's Father's Day, and now I'm a new dad. This is my first Father's Day. And she told me on Saturday, hey, tomorrow's Father's Day, and if you don't want to do the dishes or anything, you know, I completely understand. It's your day. You can relax. Well, Here's the thing, once you make a commitment, every time you break that commitment, regardless of the reason, it affects you as well. Because you know in your mind, you said you were going to do something and it'll make you start to lose trust in yourself in other areas as well. I'm sure that if you stop and you think about it, you're gonna realize that's definitely the case. Well, I woke up and I realized that I couldn't not keep my word because 
I have made the commitment to her and to myself that when I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. And I want you to imagine if every time you told your kids that you were going to do something, you did it. Every time you told your spouse that you were going to do something, you made sure it happened. Every time you told your boss you were going to do something, you made sure it happened. How would that change? Every time that you've been told that someone was going to do something to you, if it would have been done, think of how that changes that relationship. When my wife woke up, she was ecstatic to see that even though she had given me permission to not keep my commitment, I still did. And so I want to challenge you from now on, whenever you say you're going to do something and you make a commitment to somebody, make a commitment, keep a commitment and watch how it changes not only your own life, not only your own confidence in yourself, but also other people's confidence in you. Just for one week, try it for one week and let me know how it changes your relationships. I guarantee you from experience, not only in my own relationship with my wife, but in other areas as well, it is going to revolutionize your relationships with other people. When you make a commitment, keep a commitment at all cost. I hope this episode has brought you value. If it has, please follow the podcast, share it with a friend, if you think it'll be helpful to them, I am Justin Baldwin. Have an amazing day. The best is yet to come.